Hello and welcome to Matrix Live. Today, my guest is Bruno, the primary maintainer of Hydrogen, which I would describe as a frugal matrix client. Bruno is here to talk about the status of calls in Hydrogen. So Bruno, hi. Uh, let's Hello. take a step back uh, first. Uh, if Hydrogen is a matrix client, why does Element want it to exist in the first place? Isn't Element creating competition with itself? Um, yeah, in some way it is. Um... I guess uh, it's also something we look for. Um, so ideally, right now we have every client is based on their own SDK, but eventually you want to end up with two implementations of the protocol to keep ourselves honest. Um, the one being the Rust SDK and the other one being um, Hydrogen. Um, so that's where we want to get to, have two implementations. Also, um, we... Uh, we focus on the SDK aspect with Hydrogen. We've got Third Room and Chatterbox who are built on the Hydrogen SDK, and, and we really want to make that a nice experience. Um, so there's that part. And then also we've got uh, customers who are interested in, in a lightweight uh, matrix client. Yeah. All right, so uh, just for people who may not be familiar with them, uh, can you remind us what Third Room and Chatterbox are? Right. So Chatterbox is uh, something we had a lot of interest in before it existed. Um, it's um, basically a support chat that you can easily embed on your website uh, and that is powered by Matrix. Um, so uh, basically by including an HTML snippet into your page, you, uh, you see a button on the right, button, right uh, lower corner of the screen, you click it, you're immediately put into a chat where an operator will join and help you. That's the idea. And the uh, third room is a um, matrix version of the metaverse. Um, so uh, matrix already has this concept of rooms and the uh, third room basic basically expands those into uh, 3D worlds that you can join. Um, and they're already, yeah, they made huge progress uh, in the last year. Um, I haven't tested it recently, but uh, a few months ago, it already felt really usable. Um, and that is based on the hydrogen SDK as well. Yeah. Right. So it's uh, it's the metaverse, but with legs, <laughs> which makes it more interesting. <laughs> and and this is based on the hydrogen SDK. So hydrogen is not just uh, a frugal client. It's also a SDK, which is a sort of higher level SDK than than uh, a regular client SDK. Yeah, so uh, the SDK is actually called the Hydrogen View SDK, and mm -hmm. it includes all the views that you can reuse in your app. So um, you can use the timeline as is supported by Hydrogen. Uh, you can use the, the, the list view. Um, you can also use it sort of these views in a modular way where you mix them with your own views. Um, so there's that. You can also use the lower level components of the SDK. Um, but yeah, you're really able to uh, to tie into or to, like make a mashup of hydrogen at a quite high level, uh, which can be nice. Yeah. All right. And so today you want to show us the state of calls in hydrogen. So let's have a look right now. Can you show us how it looks like? Yes. So this is a uh, video and audio calls um, mm -hmm. as Element Calls supports them. Um, just switch windows. So here I have hydrogen. Um, so we're close to releasing this. We're just ironing. We're close to releasing a minimum viable product. Um, mm -hmm. uh, we're just ironing out some few bugs and making sure that all the logging is in place so we can uh, catch errors once people start using it. Um, but here I have Element uh, with Element um, call support. I can't, I can't see your screen yet. Uh, I should probably share it first. Hey. hey. <laughs> Now you should be able to see yourself. Yep, I can see a beautiful tip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. I've got on the right element with uh, element call support and on the right uh, hydrogen locally uh, running the calls branch. So if I start a call here, hello, uh, element call sets up the call and you see a tile appearing here in the timeline. Uh, when the call starts. So if I click join on that, I'll be mm -hmm. put in the call and you see that element call and hydrogen can have a, a video call. Here I have the same mute controls. Now I hear myself uh, as um, element call has. Um, 
and um, oh, parties hang up, the call gets terminated. Anyway, I can also start a call from hydrogen, um, pretty much the same way. Mm -hmm. um, the, there's it's a minimum file product that we want to release first because there's quite a few things to do as to like uh, select your camera and your microphone before you actually join the call. Um, screen sharing, none of that is a uh, it will be in the first version. Um, but. Um, here we go, hydrogen set up the call and element call is, is able to, to join. Um, so yeah, is it, is it, it a completely distinct uh, implementation or um, is it, do, do you embed element call? No, it doesn't embed element call. Um, I started the implementation copying quite a bit of code uh, from element web, but uh, since then it's diverged quite a bit, yeah. Um, so it's it's a, it's a, yeah, a new implementation if you will. All right. So yeah, it, it's amazing to see you could add support for something as advanced as VoIP uh, in a tiny client. So my, my next question would be about the kind of VoIP call you added. Because in standard elements, when talking about calls, we have two options, the one-to-one -one calls, which are just a web RTC call, uh, or, or Jitsi widget uh, integration for group calls. And there is another option uh, element call takes advantage of. Uh, it uses MSC 3401 called native group VoIP signaling, which consists of sending uh, hidden messages in a room with all the metadata needed to start, join, and end a call. So which one is Hydrogen using? Right. Um, so Hydrogen is using the uh, MSC 3401 call support. Uh, maybe I can zoom out a little bit and, mm -hmm. uh, and, and give some background on, on why we're doing this. So Matrix always pretended to be the signaling, signaling layer of, uh, of uh, WebRTC and voice over IP. And uh, since fairly early days, it supported one-on-one -on -one, um, video calls and DMs. Um, and um, it was it was quite a bit more involved to add like multiple participants to that. You could also, yeah. Um, so that's why we embedded Jitsi uh, as a more short-term solution. Um, so Element offered both of those for for quite a long time and we decided to uh, sort of make our own uh, properly integrated with matrix version of um of a group of a uh, video calls now we could also support other things with like uh, video rooms and, and whatnot different fashions of video calls um so we started working on on uh, msc 3401 as the unifying uh, web rtc support for matrix that can a company like that that can cater for all the use cases you might have multiple streams per device multiple devices all calling into the same call so element call implemented that and that's the only support that uh, hydrogen also implemented it just so if you start a legacy one on one call hydrogen won't pick up it won't even ring um just for um for element call compatible calls that, that hydrogen and even then in the MVP, like some features like screen sharing won't be supported either. That will come later on. Yeah. So uh, it supports MSC 3401 calls and not everything at first, but eventually you're probably going to get there. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure we'll implement more than MSC 3401 calls. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we'll. there's an interest to implement legacy uh, WebRTC calls nor, nor mm -hmm. Jitsi integration. Yeah. But we eventually want to get all the features of uh, MSC 3401 calls, yes. And also uh, what you're going to mention now, probably SFU support. Yes, exactly. SFU support. So we've been hearing about SFU, uh, so selective forwarding units, uh, mm -hmm. says Wikipedia, for a few months. So without a SFU, all the peers in a call are, are directly connected to each other, which is what we call mesh networking. So that means if we have four people in a call, each person needs to send the same audio and video stream uh, to the three other devices, which obviously doesn't scale well. And that's what selective forwarding units are solving. So there are sorts of hubs that each peer connects to and that broadcasts the relevant streams to each client. So as a result, peers are only connected to the SFU instead of all the other peers in the call, reducing the bandwidth usage for each peer. So when SFUs are out, will Hydrogen be compatible with it? Uh, not at first, no. 
Um, uh, we're planning after the MVP, we're planning to start work on cross signing. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and that's going to take priority for a while. So uh, only later on, we'll probably get back to uh, more features of, of uh, call support. Mm -hmm. All right. Is, is there anything else uh, you want to tell us about hydrogen that we did not mention? Or do you have other plans that you want to share before we conclude? Well, as I just said, uh, we're, we're planning to start working on cross-signing. Um, it's going to be, uh, I've, I've already implemented it once in Element, so uh, it's going to be fun to, to do it again with the lessons learned. Um, um, so that's going to be the next big project. Um, uh, yeah. Um, Nothing too much to add. Um, also on, on mesh calling, uh, it's surprisingly how well it works without an SFU as well. Like most calls are just under eight participants and then mesh calls actually perform pretty well. Also, um, a lot easier to set up. You don't need to set up an SFU as an administrator. Uh, there's quite a few advantages to it as well, but it's true that beyond eight participants, it, it, uh, it falls down a bit, yeah. Right. All right. Well, thank you very much, Bruno, uh, for all the details and, and the demo about Hydrogen. Thanks a lot. I'm going to conclude this episode by asking everyone who can afford it to please support the Matrix Foundation. If you're an individual, please use the link in our, to our donor box uh, that I'm going to add in the description. If you are an organization, we really count on you to play fair game and support the, dev the development of Matrix. I'm leaving a link to the membership form in the description as well. For entities who have already applied for membership and who didn't get an answer yet, thank you very much. We're going to answer soon. I'll see you next week. And in the meantime, take care. See you, Matrix Live. Thank you, Tip. Bye.